I love this perfume so much. Um, this is actually from an indie house. It's from Dokken Aroma. The perfume is called Vanilla Pearl. Hey guys, I've lost my voice for days now. That's why I haven't filmed. I've been working on my side project for a while. So the side project is not related to perfume in any way. So there's no point of uh, refilling it here. But I have been cranking the side project for a while. And I get really tired and then last night I started watching this show called Wednesday and I love it so much <laughs> so I've been watching that all night and I'm gonna go upstairs and put on makeup right now by the way today video I'm gonna talk about this perfume that I bought recently this is a cheapie and I love it I love it this is a really really good one let me tell you why it's really hard to move on after a divorce Maybe because I'm the kind of person that can't move on fast. Um, but it's also because, you know, like, okay, divorce after you have kids. It's like my whole life definition is that I'm a career woman, but I'm also a mom. And when you're divorced and when the kids go to the daddy house, it's like my whole self-worth, my whole purpose disappeared. It's really hard for me to move on. My self-worth is tied to uh, my kids, it's tied to my marriage. But now that that role is taken away from me, I know I'm still a mom and I know that that cannot be replaced, but still, like when they're not with me, it feels like I'm no longer a mom, so I have no purpose. And this is exactly why I started YouTube. This is exactly start I started side hobbies because it feels lonely. I don't have families here in the States, it's just me and my kids. He was my only family here. The thought of being alone, it's like it, it hurts my self-worth in an unimaginable way, even though it's been a while. Still, like the thought of being replaced hurts so bad. And this is why it's really hard to move on from a divorce when you're a mom. I think like if you if you get divorced before you have kids, it might be easier. I feel like my skin's getting dry. So I have this that I really like, Watermelon Glow Ultra, my Ultra Fine Mist. I did put on moisturizer, but moisturizer just doesn't last long on me. Um, and as soon as I put the mist, you could see the my mascara start to fall apart but it's okay I'll just clean it up I'll be back for those of you that are going through what I'm going through just be strong I am much better now than I was before um, and it's now holiday too so holiday Christmas it's harder for people that are divorced just because you know definition of family have changed significantly my lips are so dry Definition of family has changed significantly. It used to be me and him and my kids, and now um, it's just either me alone or me and my kids without him, and it's hard. It's hard. I don't want to bore you guys with the divorce conversation just because I want to be honest with you, and I mentioned to you before that I want to be honest with you, with you guys, and that's why I brought it up because it is still a topic that... Um, you know that, that that that's part of me that's who I am so today I'll tell you what the perfume that I bought recently uh, this might be my last perfume purchase for the year I love this perfume so much um, this is actually from an indie house it's from Dokken Aroma the perfume is called Vanilla Pearl and let me t let me show you I actually love this perfume a lot. Alright, so this one smells so good. I love it so much, you guys. Um, so I I got this on Black Friday that had a that had a sale. I think it retails for $60 for 50 mil. Don't quote me on that. And this is a vanilla, definitely vanilla. I love, 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 love it. I don't know what the notes are. I have the box. Wait a minute. 
So this is what the box looks like. It says uh, Dokens Aroma Co. Extract the Parfum, 50 ml. So this is a perfume. It it um, it says apply to pulse point. Our concentrated perfume contain high oil content. Um, if apply on your clothing, be cautious in order to prevent staining of delicate fabric. It doesn't say what the notes breakdown is. Probably the website do. Um, but it's just a box and then this cute cute small little bottle guys this one smells so good this one smells like a soapy vanilla but the soapiness is not aldehyde soapy it's not orange blossom soapy it's more like a jasmine toothbrushy soapy with vanilla i just love it this one actually reminds me of an expensive hotel scent i don't know what it is it's like sm it smells like an expensive hotel laundry scent yeah so if you want something that's simple um this might be my best purchase uh so far i like this one more than the previous two purchases. I love this one more than Latafa. I love this one more than Bianco Latte as well. Um, yeah, I like this one. This one might be one of the best basic vanilla that I've tried so far. Up to part two, Vanilla West Indies and Masalari Vanigalia and Fired Will to me. To me. This is really good. This is a simple vanilla. It's one of those. One of the perfume that I just mentioned to you except the twist is that this is more soapy it's more toothbrushy soapy but it doesn't smell like a bad toothbrush it smells like it smells like um like a toothbrush it's like maybe vanilla with a little bit of a jasmine but the jasmine here is not floral it's just provide texture of toothbrush in this case i really really like it yeah, so definitely, definitely, it's a win. Um, I wear this the other day, and my friend really, really liked it. I had two friends over, and one of them says it smells like a plain vanilla. And then the other one, he thinks it smells like a, like a fancy hand soap in a fancy hotel. Or it just smells like a, um, it smells like a hotel. It smells clean, it smells vanilla. I just love it. Okay guys, I noticed that I have too many perfume now in this cabinet. So maybe it's time for a, um, a perfume declutter. But this one definitely fits in here. Let me see what I could take away. So this is no longer a vanilla. It used to be a vanilla, but now this is my easy reach. And this one's definitely is an easy reach. If anything, I think this one is less of an easy reach. Um, Dona Sentenza. So maybe I'll do this. And then I'm gonna put my Dona Sentenza somewhere. I don't know what about this one. All I know is I know that it's getting too much. It's like getting too full. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna move my Killian more. And I'm just gonna put Luna Sentenza there. Um, yeah, so that belongs there definitely. Anyway guys, um, thank you so much for watching, um, I'll see you in the next one, don't forget to subscribe, bye bye.